Sunrise recently attended the memorial service of Sandy Mukwena, best known for his role as Bra Eddie on ETV Scandal. His fellow colleagues and close friends gathered to celebrate his life and his service of over 40 years in the performing arts industry. Many described him as a loving, humble and caring person. The family of the veteran actor are still struggling to come to terms with his death and are in deep mourning as they prepare to say their final goodbyes. And the loss we'll feel without you. Whatever changed in the end, the ifs and the whys don't matter. You were, you are, and you'll always be a perfect tool. Rest in peace. Anyone else like to say a few words? I couldn't have said it better myself. I once read a poster where it was written, a hero is someone who stands up when he cannot. Sandy stood up and delivered a performance when he literally could not stand. It was a difficult day. 2 Timothy 4, 7 says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. And he finished. He finished 3,000 episodes. He finished 13 years. I'm told that of all the people he started episode one with, he was the only one who was still standing in scandal. These guys, Bra Andy, Bra Sandy, Bra Mabates, Bra Ali, and Norezi Kenke, after the real rehearsal, we're talking 1975, guys. Oh. <laughs> So Limpona gets and Twiki gets and today, <laughs> I didn't just come from the sky and gets and Twiki gets and give Baba to Bang Hudi Sitzing, and I am so proud today. For the Kiem Libona, he testified for it. Hey, Brasendi was the man to me. <laughs> Kakeso, who um, led the memorial today, spoke about how he had nicknames for everyone. And he used to call me Maningi Ningi. I forgot to ask him, but I think it's because I speak a lot. So <laughs> that was my fondest memory. Every time he saw me, like, yeah, Maningi. On my first day, he was the first person to actually approach me in the newsroom and make me feel so warm and so welcome. I did not feel like an extra at all. Um, he started asking me about what I'm studying and what it is I want to do. And I told him about my studies, and he was so encouraging, you know, that um, I must complete my studies. And then we so quickly you know formed such a quick you know sort of father-daughter relationship um, and that's I think one of my best memories yes I think he leaves a, a big legacy on scandal especially to the young actors and actresses in terms of discipline hard work and commitment to the work I, I think he was such a father figure that we all learned a lot from him my fondest memory of Prasendi is like a, is like a, maybe two or three years ago. As you know, I'm in Rhythm City. After Rhythm City episode, Brasendi called me. And I said, hey, Brasendi, how's it? And he said, boy, I see now you are starting to work. And I said, what do you mean? He said, boy, you're doing it. But I'll ask you for one favor. Please stay humble. Don't be big headed. Stay a professional. Ubud Sandy was a true thespian. I hear people calling themselves that, but he's a man that earned that title. He leaves a legacy that no person can replace on scandal. 
ETV scandal, the industry in South Africa, haven't lost a great actor, but we lost a talent the country should be very proud to have had the privilege of calling our own. We want to thank you, Butsa and his family, for allowing him to share his talent with us and with the rest of the country. During this difficult time. The funeral of the actor will be on Friday on the 2nd of February 2018. He will be laid to rest at Heroes Acre in West Park Cemetery, Johannesburg. The ETV family salutes you, Bra Eddie.